Okay, this is video number 20, and it will be the second part of lesson number 9 in uh, the College of Piping Green Book. This will go over the first, what they're calling the first measure, I'll call the first part of High Road to Gearlock. Uh, in your Green Book, there are, if, if you've noticed, several different places where they have kind of a something to watch in each of the bars there. So, uh, it, in case anybody seems to be watching these videos and thinking that uh, you can use these instead of the green book to learn how to play or even have just the green book and these videos um, and you don't have an instructor that you can sit down with in person or over the internet in some way uh, I do want to go ahead and take the time at this point and say find an instructor uh, go back to the other video uh, one of the first ones I put out here on how to find a, an instructor and uh, go through that these videos um, are about five to ten minutes long. A lesson is normally anywhere from half an hour to an hour, and the difference in time is the feedback between the instructor and the student. So I'm, I can show you this stuff, but it's going to be hard for you to fully understand whether you're playing it correctly. Uh, you may be missing that you're misfingering some things without having a, an instructor sitting in front of you listening and correcting you as you go. So, anyway, how are the gear lock? Uh, uh, let's see, we'll take this as we normally do, one measure at a time. So we'll do the first measure, the second measure, put those two together to make a phrase. Third and fourth measure, make a phrase. Um, just looking through it real quick, I see uh, in the second measure, the first single grace note there. You've got a C doubling and then you have an E grace note. Okay, not all tunes are going to have G grace notes every single time. So make sure that you're catching that um, you've got a G grace note, a G grace note, C doubling, E grace note. And that'll be fairly uh, happen quite a lot in this tune. We'll keep our doublings open and uh, other things as we get to them I'll mention first measure okay that's the first measure uh, let me go ahead and just play the whole tune kind of up to speed so you have an idea of what that first part will sound like up to speed Listen to that part a few times if you need to, to get the tune in your head. Maybe uh, when you can start humming it along as I play without looking at the notes, you've probably got the tune pretty much in your head. So back to that first measure. Okay. Two grace notes there. Now, if you'll notice, the first one is easy. Now, if we're going from an F to an E with the G grace note, what we do is we're on F, we raise the finger for the G grace note, and then we bring down both fingers for the E. So for a second there, or a split second, I've got only my thumb on the top end. Second measure. We're going to start the second measure on this low A to go into that double C. Don't forget, um, E grace note, then a G grace note at the end. First phrase is going to be the first two measures. Third measure is a D starts with a D throw. We're going to back up one note and start on the E to go in the, the last note in the second measure and go from there into the D throw. I'll try that again. 
For those doing the light D throw, I have a hard time because I'm used to the heavies. And we're keeping those way, 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 way open. Okay. Fourth measure, first line. You're going to notice that in that last measure, we've, we've talked previously on the D throws about how the D throw starts on the low G, the very, very bottom note. Well, we're already on the low G, so we can't go like from an A down to the low G to do the D throw. So you just, um, you'll start, you're already on low G, you'll just go ahead and do your D grace note to however you do your D throws. So if you do a heavy D throw, we'll do that last measure, we'll start on the B, start on the B at the end of the double B. So that would be a heavy D throw, light D throw would be That's going to take a little bit of work, and this is that's where you're going to need your instructor in front of you to uh, work that part out. I'm going to do that last measure again. Third and fourth measure, starting with the E right in front of that. First line. Okay. The first and second measure of the second line, looking through it real quickly, are exactly the same as the first and second measure of the line above. So we're not even going to go over that. We're going to go right to the third measure of the second line. Fourth measure. That little low G grace note onto A. Don't make it a hit, make it a press. So that you don't lose it as you speed the tune up. And then notice there is a repeat sign that'll take you back to the beginning of the tune. That's it. Next video will be the second part of High Road.